Okay, so just an update on the bogeys. Um, from left to right is the kit bogey. This was the bogey that I modified. Um, and this is the bogey from the Tasca M4 Sherman suspension set, which uh, I bought. Uh, notice that I've changed the wheels because I like these dished concave wheels. Are they concave or are they convex? They're con something. So I found quite fancied using those because they was prevalent in um, late 44 onwards. So, uh, yeah, so let's have a quick look at this. The normal one. The bog standard kit bogey that you're going to get from... Uh, Tamir, the skid at the top um, here is far too thick. Uh, there's no other detail on there. Um, there's no bolt detail underneath. There's no bolt on this bit here. Let's use the pointer. There's no bolt detail there, and there's no bolt detail underneath there. And like I say, it was very, it's very thick. So this is the one that. Um, oh, hang on, come here that I uh, modified myself. Um, see this uh, bolt detail on there after thinning it down. Bolt detail there, bolt details on the bottom which don't look all that great, but detail in there. Um, a bolt on the top there, bolt here, and bolt underneath. And a lubrication hole in the itself so I don't know why I'm turning that around it's not going anywhere so there's that one so this is the Tasker one now as you can see there is already in the kit itself bolt detail underneath here it's got bolt details under there back to front as well there. and the only thing I had to do was do the bolts because these were reversible so you could turn them around and uh, there's these spring suspension, sus suppression bolts in the top there. And uh, yeah, and also um, I drilled some holes which don't look all that straight, but I'm going to cover that in mud anyway, so it's not going to really going to see much. So even though these are the kit, the suspension kit, there is still a little bit of work to do to bring them up to scratch, but they're looking pretty good so I have now completed all of these um, and with that as well with this one the suspension you can move him around that fits in there that goes up and down um, underneath here where the springs are you're meant to put a um, bit of foam I have done one over here but I don't know if I can find it amongst all of them. Oh, that's the one. Uh, a bit of foam underneath, so it... It totally works. You can see those top arms going up and down. But they are fiddly, so I just braced it out with some plastic underneath there, so it fixes on the rest of them. I'm just uh, going to carry on like that. So yeah, so those are the suspensions, bogies that we've now done to continue. So just a brief mention of the um, Tasker M4 Sherman suspension set, the uh, vertical volute spring suspension. Uh, this is what's left after I've used all my pits and pieces to do the six um, bogies that I'm going to be using in the kit so you can see there's quite a few bits and pieces left like the pressed wheels in here there's some bolt action at the top there or bolt action bolts that um, I'm going to be using for another time so I'll probably cut down the sprue and use those somewhere else um, and we've got a quite a few um, drive sprockets on there that's the late type and um, there's also a cut one and a pressed one I think they'd be there and also the drive bitty thing there good at this game and I, I don't know what these bits are called 
and so the the drive thingy that's ribbed on there so you could probably use you could show it without um, sprocket on there for say maintenance or whatever so yeah so quite a, a reasonable bit of kit um, from Tasker and also um, I had the old uh, tracks these come in two parts per per run uh, they're looking quite good actually so uh, yeah so it's well worth the money uh, if you're going to be updating um, the kit so I'll move it on there like so I don't know why I'm not showing you in the camera um, obviously there's a few bits and pieces to cut down and file off and whatever but I won't be using those because I want the um, the rubber chev chevrons that I've got with the kit um, which are the T48s I believe um, so basically this is the kit one um, I am in the process of sorting this out so I'm going to be dug out a few bits and filled it up with super glue so I'll be filing that down inside and also going to be damaging the chevron itself I've started to sand a few bits and pieces away so it looks a bit less than brand new so there we are yeah so but like I say, the um, the Tasker suspension kit itself, very reasonable. Um, for the price, it's £24. Work that out in US dollars if you wish. Um, so yeah, so if you want a bit more accuracy in your, your build, um, like I showed you before in the previous video, there's a lot of work to update the kit bogey into something that's quite reasonable a little bit of a lot of work so it's worth getting that so there we go that's it for the um, suspension a uh, bit more work to do on the tracks um, like I said before it'll be gouging a bit out making them a bit messy whatever so uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that episode episode 3 anything you want to know please leave a comment below share like subscribe and do the little bell thing that makes you know when I do another video, which will probably be next week. So there we go. This is Andy Fettis for the Models Emporium, wishing you a very good evening and stay safe. See you later. <laughs>